Day three of his visit in France, President Paul Kagame met and held discussions with his South African counterpart, His Excellency Cyril Ramaphosa, who was also attending the conference. The two leaders spoke on strengthening the bilateral ties between their nations. Participants at the conference tackled the serious issue of financing Africa's economies following the hit they took from the COVID-19 global pandemic and why the continent is not rebounding as quickly as the rest of the globe. Africa this year is expected to grow only 3.2%. The rest of the world, 6%. We have to boost growth, public and private investments in Africa. And we can do that by mobilizing financing from international organizations, from bilateral donors, and of course, from the countries themselves. We have the ambition to bring special drawing rights from countries like France that have strong positions to own land to Africa. And I am confident this is going to materialize for the sake of Africa, but also for the sake of all of us, because growth and stability in Africa means prosperity and stability in Europe. The current chairman of the African Union has reiterated that even though the rest of the world is willing to help the continent, its regional economic bodies must play their part in weathering this storm. Uh, yeah, uh, au dîner nous offert par uh, Emmanuel Macron, il a, nous avons visé le cap de 100 milliards. Last night during the dinner hosted by Emmanuel Macron, we decided on a goal of raising 100 billion. Even though it is not enough, it is a good start and we as Africa must also find a way for the continent's economic blocks to come up with a strategy to deal with this challenge because you saw how Europe was quick to help its businesses so that they were not severely affected by the effects of the pandemic and yet our businesses suffered a lot because we were not prepared for this in advance. Nous ne sommes pas préparés à ce genre d'imprévu. The host of the conference pointed out that at least 40% of Africa's population must be vaccinated before the end of the year if efforts to revive the continent's economies are to be sped up. Il y a aujourd'hui un ralentissement très fort de la de la croissance partout en Afrique après une année 2020. Today, many of Africa's economies are limping after 2020 was a very difficult year, and between now and 2025, at least. 285 billion US dollars is needed. However, it is a good time to achieve this because Africa has it all. Young people and the strength to unite and overcome any challenges presented by climate change and food shortages in particular. If we were to agree to cooperate and take a new approach, we would be laying down a foundational stone through this conference in Paris. Not all problems would be addressed in a day. But we can change a lot today by taking the first step so that others may follow through the G7, G20 and onwards into the future when France will be leading the European Union and through this constant partnership with our African brothers. The conference was attended by more than 20 African heads of state and government, representatives of bodies and organizations like the EU and IMF, as well as other dignitaries.